Hi everyone, in this video, I'll talk about what to do in a code blue and what happens during a code blue. When I was a floor nurse, I was able to be a part of a few codes and thought I knew what was going on. But now that I've received extra training and have been placed on the code blue team, meaning that I respond to code blues that happen in the hospital, I thought it would be interesting to give people more insight on what to expect. In this channel, I talk about all aspects of nursing, from pre-nursing to postgraduate nursing programs. If you want to learn more about nursing, consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. I also have a free 45-day NCLEX guide on my website, www.simplefitnurse.com, that you can download. So let's get right into today's video. When someone's coded, there is many things that goes on. A set of people immediate, immediately get activated and respond to wherever they are needed. In that moment, as a floor nurse, it is important to stay present and pull up the most recent work done on the patient, specifically give the most recent lab draw time, the most recent diagnosis, any significant diagnostic tests, and the medical history. That would enable us to have a base of information that will appropriately and adequately guide the phys physician on what is going on. As a responder to a code blue, I was surprised to find out that the emergency physician follows the advanced cardiac life support algorithm in every code that occurs. If you're interested in reading and learning about the algorithms, I'll leave a link down below where you can check all of them out. The typical drugs that you will face in codes are the following drugs, epinephrine, amiodarone, procainamide, lidocaine, sodalol, atropine, dopamine, adenosine. If the patient is intubated, you can expect for the patient to receive the following drugs. Ketamine, propofol, rocuronium, succinylcholine, all through the IV, of course. Now, remember that each hospital has their own policies on how they handle code blues. So make sure you, re you review that at your hospital. So as you can see, for all these drugs, you need IV access and you need to see if it is indicated to give them. And to do that, you need a cardiac monitor. Therefore, those are two crucial things that need to be in place for any type of therapy to be done for the patient. I will, I will make a video talking about the advanced cardiac life support algorithm more in depth. But in this video, I just wanted to keep it short and talk about some of the important drugs that we use during code blues. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you've participated in any code blues. What were your thoughts and what went through on in your mind? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.